What's good, muffins? Let's build the ultimate vocal chain in Ableton. We'll take a quick listen to the dry vocal before we add processing. I care about you, but that's the way go. I get like Rambo. Let's start with a subtractive EQ. I'll pull in an EQ8. I'm gonna turn the high pass filter on and let's roll it off at 130. Now let's create five bell curves. I'll select all of the bell curves and bring them down around 1.2 dB. I can also change the Q of all of them to around five so they are narrow cuts. And now I'll go through each one and set the frequency. Let's start with the low mids to get rid of some of the muddiness. We'll do one at 235, one at 471, one at 784, and lastly, one at 1.5K. Next, let's bring in a couple DSers. I'll search DS, and I'll start with the multi-band dynamics split band DSer. This preset sounds great as is. We're gonna also bring in the compressors DSer. Now I'm gonna group everything we have together so we can start turning on and off the chain as we build it. Let's listen with it off. I care about you, but that's the way go. And on. I care about you, but that's the way go. It's sounding a little bit too squashed, so I'm gonna mix this second de-esser using the dry wet knob. I care about you, but that's the way go. I get like Rambo. Say I'm an animal. Bitch, I'm an animal. Next, let's bring in some compression. I'm gonna switch it to this view. Let's set the ratio to 6.3 to 1. We'll bring the attack to 0.42 and the release to 478. Let's bring down the threshold 8.3 dB and let's bring down the dry wet. I care about you, but that's the way it go. I get like Rambo. Say I'm an animal. Sounds good, but I want to bring a little more back to the output, so let's bring it up 2.3 dB. I care about you, but that's the way it go. Nice. Now I want to add another EQ8. We'll add another high pass filter at 83. We'll take this bell and set it at 181. Bring it down 1.2 dB. Bring the Q to 6. On this next bell, let's bring it to 1.3K and just bring it up a quarter dB. Let's make this next one a bell curve and bring it to 2.8K and bring it down 0.5 dB. Let's create a high shelf, set it at 3.7K and bring it up to 1.2 dB. Lastly, let's take this bell and bring it to 7.4K and boost it 0.5 dB. I care about you, but that's the way go. Sounds good. Let's bring in some multi-band dynamics now. I want to switch it to the A view so I can see all the above values. And I'll start by setting the high crossover around 1K. I'll set the low crossover at 567. Now let's head over to the high threshold and set it to negative 25 dB. Ratio at 1.88 and I'll boost the output 0.2 dB. We'll bring the mid threshold to negative 30 dB. Same ratio at 1.88 and I'll lower the output by 1.3. On the lows, we can set the threshold to negative 29 dB, ratio at 1.94, and I'll boost the output by 1.4 dB. Let's boost the main output by 2.5 dB, and we can mix this in. I care about you, but that's the way it go. I get like red. Sounds great. Let's add one final EQ8. On this next one, let's take the first bell and set it at 3.4K and bring it down a dB. I'll change the Q to 2.4. Next, let's take the bell and bring it to 7.2K, add 0.24 dB. And lastly, let's take this bell and bring it to 18K. Turn it up to 2.6 dB and bring down the Q just a little, around 0.59. I care about you, but that's the way it go. I get like Rambo. Nice. That sounds a lot shinier, but not too harsh. Let's bring in a channel EQ. And we can bring down the lows 1 dB, the mids 1 dB. But let's also set the mids to 297 hertz. And let's bring up the highs 1 dB. 
Next, we'll add some glue compression. We'll set the quickest attack and release and set the ratio to 10. And let's bring down the threshold 12 dB and add back 1.5 dB of makeup gain. Let's mix it in. I care about you, but that's the way it go. I get like Rambador. Say I'm an animal. Bitch, I'm an animal. I get my... Now let's thicken this up with some parallel compression. So I'll bring in a compressor, and I'm just going to group this effect now, and I'll name this P-Comp. And on the compressor, I'll set the ratio to 3.2, the attack at 11.4, and the release at 19. I want to bring down the threshold 48 dB, set the output to negative 5 dB, and turn on the makeup gain. I care about you, but that's the way go. Sounds way over compressed, but if we mix this in with our main signal, it will really bring this vocal up front. I care about you, but that's the way go. I get like Rambo. Say I'm an animal. Bitch, I'm a. Here it is off. I care about you, but. And on. I care about you, but that's the way go. This really brings it up in your face. I'll create another chain below and name this verb one. I'm gonna search for slap. This should work perfectly. Let's just mix this in. I care about you, but that's the way go. I get like Rambo. Say I'm an animal. Bitch, I'm. Let's add another reverb, maybe a hall. Vocal plate hall should sound great. I'll drag it into the effect rack and name it verb two. Let's mix this in. I care about you, but that's the way go. I get like Rambo. Say I'm an animal. Bitch, I'm an animal. I get my Amazing. The final step is to add a limiter. Just make sure not to drag it into the effect chain. I'll add 0.8 dB of gain and set the ceiling to negative 1.12. I'll switch the look ahead to 1.5 milliseconds and let's take a listen. I'll start with it off. I care about you, but that's the way go. And on. I care about you, but that's the way go. As always, muffins, I've saved this device and I'm giving it away for free 99. The link is below. Let's take a quick look at the device because I added a few other effects in there. You can roll off the lows here. I care about you, but that's the way go. You can roll off the highs. I care about you, but that's the way go. You have this format filter, which sounds cool as a layer. I care about you, but that's the way it go. You have full compression and glue compression control. You got your reverbs right here. You get a dope echo. I care about you, but that's the way it go. And you can control the rate of it here. The sheen knob gives you control over some of the final high-end EQ. The crunch is an amazing distortion. I care about you, but that's the way it go. Check out the width. I care about you, but that's the way it go. I care. The chop effect creates a really cool stutter effect. Sounds great on drawn out vocals. Lastly, you have control of the compressor and main outputs, so you can really dial in your gain staging. I'll be posting my third party chain soon as well, so be on the lookout for that. As always, so fun hanging with you muffins, and I'll see you guys soon.